Alrighty, welcome everybody. This is Michael and this is going to be a real quick tutorial on how I've been uh, doing these uh, new floor direct decoration uh, ideas here. Uh, basically using the uh, terrain ore blocks and uh, kind of embedding other blocks into them to create uh, different kinds of patterns. Uh, and you can do a lot of very creative type sort of stuff, uh, you know, doing combinations of, of different materials. This one is a, you know, two block wide uh, cross of the uh, nitrate with some coal kind of in the uh, corner here with nitrate in the outer corners it doesn't necessarily make it a perfect pattern but it uh, gives you something that's a little more uh, decorative and a lot more randomless and it gives you a nice uh, splash of color um, so let's go ahead and go over to this room and uh, i don't know if you've seen my other previous video but uh, these are some of the examples that i've just kind of been playing around with with different uh, designs and, and styles that you can play around with just different different combinations of, of the terrain materials as well as different blocks that you can use uh, to create some really nice patterns. It'll really add a nice splash of color to your POIs. So let's go ahead and go over here. We've got a nice blank space here. Um, so there's two ways you can do this, uh, all depending on kind of what sort of pattern you might want to have. Um, if you want to do something very simple, just a, you know, just the same, you know, same material uh, block of, of material, uh, basically, all you have to do is, you know, uh, clear out a uh, one deep uh, block of the area that you want. Uh, select whatever material. Let's just do uh, iron for this one. Fill that in. And now what you need to do is just use the uh, the density tool. So I'm just going to go ahead and shift uh, Z click there. Shift Z click here. So I have the outer perimeter also selected. Um, and then you hit the control up arrow. This is the same uh, trick you use to um, smooth out your gutters uh, between your POIs and uh, the terrain. Now you see there is still a slight little edge along there. Uh, you can kind of get rid of that again. Uh, if we select the area above uh, the, uh, the area you're working on and you st just start using your up arrow key, um, It'll slowly bring it up until it pops up. Um, you can drop it back down again. If you use the right arrow key, you can do very fine tuning uh, changes of that just to get it a little bit. You're still always going to have a little gap on some of the corners. Uh, you just can't get around that, but it does make it look a little bit, a uh, little bit better. Now, if you want to do something where you have a, let's say for example, we want to do something like this one over here. Um, this one. Well, this one may not be a good as well. This is a good example. We'll go ahead and do something very similar to this. So this again, this is only going to be one layer deep. And I'll just, um, I'll just go ahead and pop one in here. Can I fit that in there? Yeah, I should be able to fit that in there. So I'll do a control Z and we'll do a control Z over there. That's what two blocks. Let's do something that's three blocks. wide. So let's, let's find another space here and control Z. And control Z. So we have a decent size space here. I'm gonna hit J to get rid of it. And basically to do this, all you would really need to be sure of is have your your ore terrain blocks at least in the corners. Um, because when you use the density tool, it's gonna wrap a kind of a, a bubble around everything else. Um, so let me go ahead and pop these in here just as an example of a pattern. And I, can, I just need to make sure I leave my, my corners empty and we'll just, uh, we'll just throw these in here like this and you can, you can play with, there's all different kinds of shapes that you can uh, use for this. It doesn't really matter, you know, what you select. Um, I'm going to just go ahead and use, uh, I think this is coal. I'm just going to put one in each corner. You don't have to fill the whole thing. Okay. And again, I'm going to go ahead and go to the outer perimeter, select here, select here, control Z, and I hit my control up arrow key and it bridges across that. Now, one of the problems you're going to come across is that the terrain will take on the texture of whatever's below it sometimes. Now, if it's a regular block, it's always going to take on the texture of stone. So this is going to be not the best option for something like this. But again, if this is something that you want to do, and if you have it uh, maybe a couple layers deep, um, you can bring those colors up. Um, 
but it's not the best option. It's it's a it's a good, quick and easy one. Again, it's best for you know kind of a solid uh, type uh, texturing, uh, but this will work you know fine in a in a uh, in a jiffy. Let's go ahead and select these over here. And again, I'm going to hit my up arrow key to bring that up until it pops up over the ground. Bring it back down again and start using my right arrow key to fine tune that and you'll get a little bit better. You're still going to get a lot of these edges here. And that's more because I've only got the four blocks of terrain in the corner. I think the best option is to do a two layer approach. This is what happens with these ones. I've got a layer of the nitrate that's two blocks down and I've put on top of that my shape and sucked the terrain blocks up above it. So let's go ahead and do that over here real quick. We'll go ahead and do our shift Z here and we'll do a shift Z over here. So we get a, got a good shape here. Now using my shift G button, I'm gonna resize this. I'm gonna bring it down one and let me just go ahead and eliminate all that material. So now I'm going to do the bottom layer as my ore. Now, again, this is one of those kind of weird things with the terrain. Um, the terrain will kind of stretch the textures at an angle. Um, so if I did this, I'll have some edges that might show the regular stone because it's it's grabbing the texture of the uh, concrete down below it. So what I usually end up doing is I'll go ahead, I'll bring this down to one layer, I'll expand my ore block out one block on each side, um, just like that. And let's go ahead and use the nitrate because that shows up fairly well. Hit the L key. So now if I go down here, you can see it, 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 it goes underneath the edges and that helps getting a nice clean pattern going on in there. Um, let's go ahead and use, I like these little cubby hole thingies here. Um, you can use whatever material you want. I'm just going to go ahead and fill this whole thing in with these. I'm just going to hit Z here, hit Z there and hit my L key. And now I've got that grid pattern here. So same sort of thing. I'm going to hit my shift Z on the outer corner, shift Z on the outer corner again, and then hit my control up arrow key. And that brings it up most of the way, but again, we still have this kind of edge here. So I'm just going to move my selection up one block and then start using my up arrow key until it overflows, bring it back down one and use my right arrow key to fine tune it until it just pops over and then bring it back down one. And now we have a fairly flush surface and you can go ahead and paint this whatever you want. Uh, to get whatever kind of uh, pattern you like to do. Black granite always looks really nice with these. Uh, oops, didn't want to do that. <laughs> let's uh, let's uh, erase that. I probably messed up a bunch of my other ones here. Um, we'll go back to my regular paintbrush and we'll paint these up and we get our kind of our grout lines. And again, you can do all kinds of different patterns, different combinations. Uh, it looks uh, a lot better than a lot of your, your main... Uh, uh, textures that we have in the game. We're pretty limited on this, but this adds a nice splash of color as well as more of a randomness. And this one looks really nice as far as the, uh, like for a lobby for a hotel or a bank or something like that, or a, a mansion. Um, this is a nice one. I use the five meter uh, tube uh, with a one meter uh, cylinder in the middle and uh, just use the nitrate. So this would be nice for an outdoor park area or something like that. So that's uh, kind of the quick and dirty on how this is done. You can play around with this, uh, do different combinations to, just to see what you like. Um, so if you have any questions, uh, please uh, drop me a note and I'll, I'll be sure to try to reach out to you. Thank you all for joining me and hope to see you again soon. Take care.